The next tool we will discuss is the settings menu. In the position location information box or PLI box, the user's specific information such as call sign and location are denoted. These parameters can be changed as follows. From within the ATAC application, tap on the three dots located on the top right of the toolbar, also known as the additional items menu. Scroll down to settings and tap on the settings tab. This will allow the user to access the settings within ATAC SIP. Tap on My Call Sign. From here, users can change the call sign on the device, which will display the user's call sign across the network, as well as the display name in the user's PLI box. Call sign naming conventions are recommended to begin with the user's two letter state, followed by NG for National Guard. The rest of the call sign will be dependent on unit SOP. Tap on My Team. From here, the user can select the color that will be displayed to other users on the network. Again, unit SOP should be followed when selecting my team color. Tap on my role. From here, the user can change the role type from the drop down menu by tapping on the specific role. Tap on more. This will access a menu for the user similar to the my call sign window, but with additional options. This is the device preferences. Tap the persistent back. Tap on tax servers. Here, users can select from an option of the available tax servers as dictated permission. The radial button located to the left of the tax server option will either be denoted in red, meaning the tax server is not connected, or green, meaning the tax server is connected. In order to select the desired tax server, simply check the box to the, to the right of the desired tax server. Of note, if the selected tax server is checked but indicated in red, simply uncheck and recheck the box to attempt to reconnect. For the purpose of this video, we will stay disconnected. Tap the persistent back. Scroll down to and tap on display preferences. As with most display settings, these are entirely user preference. Here, users can change the unit display format preferences which users can adjust their desired display formats, such as coordinate display, altitude, range, and north preference. Tap the persistent back two times to return to this main settings window. Scroll down and tap support. There, users can access a TechSiv user manual by scrolling down to the user manual. Tapping on the user manual will open up a PDF formatted document for users to reference the specific manual for ATAC SIV 4.0. Tap the persistent back two times to return to the settings window. Tap on about. This is the version of ATAC SIV on the device that users will use to reference their specific version denoted in yellow digits. Tap OK. Tap persistent back to return to the map screen. This concludes the overview of settings inside a tax SIP.